Nanu Nanu, today we are exploring how Chris Cornell performed Mad Season's River of Deceit solo acoustic style. The person with this wonderful idea goes by Renak Nuwab. I wish my name was Renak Nuwab. And speaking of names, I'd like to take just a moment to thank the following people for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club, Sere Parp, Bjorn Kerniker, and Soren. Thank you very, very, very much for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, you will find the link in the description. Great news for those of you who already know how to play River of Deceit. He did the intro almost, but not quite, identically to Mad Season. First, grab the B string, third fret, and you're going to strum from D to B. That's a tiny little G chord. Then, the B string is going to go 3-5-3 three, three as a hammer-on pull-off and land on the G string, fourth fret. <laughs> Different rhythm. The next four notes are going to be B3, G4, slide down to two, pull off to open. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, G string second fret, but instead of sliding up to four, he just plucked the open B string. It's the same note. Followed by open G. Now we have. Now, a fancy hammer on from D open to two, that's a little different, to G open. And then D goes open to open. And then when he was supposed to do F, C, G, he inexplicably played F, A minor, G. So quite a bit strummier than the Mad Season, and C became A minor. For the verse, take your baby F shape, but leave the baby E string open, and we're also going to strum the open A string in the bass. That's F major 7, because E is the 7th note of the F major scale, and A in the bass, which doesn't change the Fness, the ethnicity of the chord, if you will, because there's already an A in our F chord. It's right there. We're just putting an additional one in the bass. So, give your special chord a strum. Pull off the middle finger, and then two more strums to G. Chris played Tom Petty G, I call it this because Tom Petty always played his G this way. Other people do too. Ring finger on E3, middle finger on A2, pinky finger on other E3, but play G however you want. This one kind of keeps your hand in the same shape. That's good too. And here's the best part. We're going to grab B and E3. I'm going to use my ring finger and pinky finger, just like Mad Season, but we're going to add the bass note to the G note on the other E string, 3rd fret. Use these fingers because 3rd fret, 5th fret, 8th fret, but then the baby E string needs to go down 1 fret. That's what your pointer finger is good for. And here's that strum, pull off, strum, strum theme again. So leave your pointer finger down in your pinky. Just pulls off, rendering that E string the seventh fret. are all the pieces so go use your earballs and figure out which one goes where when thank you so much for being here i hope that was fun and helpful and i will see you next time with more stuff goodbye <laughs>